Gamers don't need a stay-at-home order. We've been staying at home for years. But like being a samurai or a golfer, <laughs> being a gamer is a lifestyle. And like any lifestyle, you can do it small or you can do it right. From monitors to chairs, from accessories to necessities, we're going to lay down a foundation to game like a boss and build a real command center. To get this party started right, you need a tower, a centerpiece, as it is the source of the room's power. With so much on the market, how can you choose? What a pretty aesthetic is is a matter of personal taste. And of course, taste in gaming looks can be as personal as your tongue's taste for food. For a younger, more aggressive, showy-offy gamer, choose a more angry-looking tower, one with a lot of red that can complement the fury of your youth. The ragey amber glow can complement the adrenaline and intense drive you'll need to succeed on your FPS campaigns, as well as the focus and red alertiness you'll need to succeed in the horror genre. For the classic and classy gamer who is a fan of the sleek, perhaps a jazz listener who has to sip the right whiskey the right way and wear the right tie at the right time of day, Alienware's latest, the Aurora R11, could be an elegant solution for you, as it looks like a new school jukebox, something Don Draper would show one of his mistresses. He should get married. For the practical gamer, the substance over styler, the I played the game when it came out and it was so much better than the movie Button Masher, a simple, unobtrusive, rectangular prism will do the job. In all honesty, it's all you need. And for anyone who asks, you can give them your spec presentation. Here goes some of my answers you will understand and some of them you will not. But you don't need them to ask. The important thing is that you know what is on the inside. Precisely. For the men and women of the future who fancy themselves captain of Starship Enterprises, you'll need something that looks like the Borg manufactured it. You don't need to be able to hack into the Pentagon with it, but it's kinda neat if it looks like you can. And finally, for the flashy, the speed demons, the racers, the human carnivals, if you will. You'll need something that looks like Harley Quinn and the Joker built on one of their couple's retreats after they offed their counselor. A unique blend of flashing lights and see-through visuals that make pretty will be the factors considered in the purchase. When people walk into the room, they don't need to just notice it. They need to be both attracted and almost disgusted with it. It's these complicated feelings that showboats elicit that make it all worth it. The rig represents who you are or who you aspire to be. What? Have fun and go bananas with this. Life ain't no video game. You only live once. One curved or two flat regos should do the trick. In the same way that two fives make a 10, two 21 inches or so make for the equivalent of one nice futuristic wraparound screen. Ideally, your screen could and should be elevated so you don't have to get that awkward spinal posture that leads to the infamous nerd neck. Because we spend a lot of time in that hollow body position, which is only gonna make that nerd neck posture worse. You want to be walking and sitting tall on your dates. Awesome. Awesome. Mm. Not looking at your potential lover like you're trying to duck under them. Is there any chance I'm your type? Yeah, yeah. A quick response time and fast refresh rate won't hurt either, because if you're gaming at that high level, you're not gaming for fun anymore. You're gaming to win. Unless you're playing interactive dramas, which require casual button pushing following careful thought. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. In those cases, save a little dough, which you can spend on Nothing personal against tables, beds, laps, or floors, but desks are where it's at. Now what about my daughter? I told you I sit behind a desk now. It's comforting to know your computer has a home. And as your computer is an extension of you, it's comforting to know that that special RAM-filled part of you has a home. A gaming desk with variable height is a nice feature, but if you're always basically sitting in the same spot, like me, it's a waste. A carbon texture on the desk's surface does give that modern look, and many gaming computer desks offer cable management features so you don't get all tangled up in wires. It must be strong to support dual monitors and maybe even your tower if that's how you roll. And if you have the space, an L-shape is sweet as you can hog a whole corner of a room, enabling you to man and woman spread like the true kings and queens of the castle you are. I prefer the L-desk for the dual monitor setup as well. Sitting in front of your desk, you really start to feel godlike, especially if you're doing it nice and have a killer throne, aka the gaming chair.
If you want to game like royalty, you've got to sit like royalty. The only way is with a chair that says, this is where the most important person in the room sits. The president of chapters of motorcycle gangs have one. The rulers of the seven kingdoms have one. Movie directors have one. Why shouldn't you? You want to be comfortable upright and alpha a good chair will facilitate that and you want one that will take good care of your spine you don't want to end up in the emergency room because of a sore back from playing call of duty for 72 straight hours next to people with more serious ailments the thought of being an armchair gangster like thanos in guardians of the galaxy is a nice thought giving us a great place to bark commands from the only matter i do not take seriously boy is you and if you're like the title character in 96's Phenomenon, you can buy your chairs from a woman in order to woo her. She's sticking with it. You know why? Because he bought her chairs. And you need one that goes all the way back. As for when you get information overload, you're gonna wanna have the option to recline. And if your bed is too far away and you need to rest on the spot, it doubles as a sleeping place. Gamers are athletes too, and sleep is an important part of the equation, as is the mouse. Anything you are going to be touching for eight hours a day or more must be given some serious consideration. With every new mouse coming out claiming to be the world's greatest something, ain't nobody got time to test them all. I go with the sleekest and coolest looking one. How's that for advice? Wireless is good for the tangle-free factor, but wired for intense gaming purposes may be the way you have to go. As for ergonomy, we think you're going to want one that's perfect for the size of your gaming hand. You want your paw to comfortably rest on that bad boy, as carpal tunnel is a real thing. And your precious trigger fingers will thank you for getting a nicely fitted one. As for style, oh boy, oh boy, I don't think you can go far enough. I like to look at the curves of my mouse like I look at the curves of an exotic car. Hey, who says gamers can't be suave and debonair in their tastes? And if it lights up a little, power to ya. Convenient for finding your hands' partner in crime in the dark. Personally, I enjoy the aesthetic of the Logitech G102, as it looks like something out of Tron. And for the mouse's best buddy, the keyboard, something that glows in the dark with those springy keys for fast typing is the way to go. Type out your memoirs faster. My life in gaming, the life and times of a role player. <laughs> I sure hope that book is full of chocobos. What did you think of our gaming lifestyle expose? Did we influence you in any way? And how about your gaming lifestyle? Any aspects you'd like to share? Let us know in the comments below. And like and subscribe for more from The Gamer. Bye bye for now.